today is a public holiday and I'm leaving my house. 7.45 a.m. So they have some welcome shooters that has something something and white room. Cheers. So it's 7.45. The weather is cool and it's a little overcast. And today's a public holiday and I'm leaving my house. 7.45 a.m. My younger self would have said I'm crazy. So I wanted to find something to wear that would have the colors of the flag. Oh, and I don't see Red and white and black top. I have my tea because it's early morning and I need to drink my tea. And yeah, so we're heading to Wanna Park where the parade is gonna be. I catch y'all inside. Please remain standing while we observe one minute of silence on the occasion of the burial of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And we will remain standing for the 21 gun salute in honor of the ascension of King Charles III. counting along you would have realized that we heard 19 shots instead of 21. No, that doesn't mean that they missed anything, that they were incorrect. What happens is in a 21 gun salute, depending on how many cannons you have, that's how many shots that you will see. But there will be times where if it's less than 21 cannons that some will be fired simultaneously. So seeing that we counted 19 shots, it would stand to reason that there were some occasions where two cannons were fired at the same time. So that's why we heard and saw 19, but it still was a 21 gun salute. And what we're seeing now is the prime minister and the governor general's deputy walking through each guard unit, both armed and unarmed. This takes up quite a bit of time so we're gonna just fast forward to the next part of the ceremonial parade <laughs>
right now we see the various units exiting the park. They will be marching from here to Camp Springfield, which is the military base on St. Kitts. So they basically continue marching, exiting the cricket stadium, walking, marching on the main road until they get to the camp. Enjoy this lovely photo of me recording the troops until Wednesday when we continue in part two of our Independence Day journey. It started at Minister 8 and did not end until 10 p.m. the night. So on Wednesday, you'll see how part two went on Independence Day in St. Kitts. Mm -hmm.